we just got another standard banner featuring Lee and Mostima as 6 stars and Nightmare, April and Pramonix as 5 stars. Before we get to the video itself, remember to support my channel by subscribing, liking and commenting. I think this is a skip banner, but let's take a look at the operators. Starting with Lee, a DP train specialist who has short redeployment time but also trains DP when on the field. His talents give him extra attack speed, lower blocked enemies attack speed and letting him negate a stun or frozen effect while also stunning the attacker. Lee's attack speed talent also has double effect if there is only one enemy nearby, making Lee a great duelist. Moving on to his skills. Lee's first skill is a low SP cost, unlimited duration, attack and arts dodge buff. The first skill sadly doesn't provide nearly as much as the other two skills and shouldn't really be used at all. Lee's second skill gives him attack speed passively and when activated, Lee marks an enemy, making your other operators attack that enemy. After 5 seconds, the mark explodes and deals very high AoE arts damage that is increased by the amount of hits the enemy took while marked. With its low SP cost, the second skill can be very good for dealing massive AoE burst damage. But it will require setting up and multiple other fast hitting operators help. It is not a very easy to use skill. And then we have his third skill that gives Lee more damage and range while also allowing him to push all the enemies except the current target away with his attacks. The skill also taunts enemies and gives Lee a high chance to dodge all kinds of attacks that come outside of his attack range. The skill also has unlimited duration. This skill is great for permanently CCing and stalling light enemies and forcing them to approach one by one. The taunt is also very useful. However, this skill requires lots of setting up and it can be almost completely useless in some stages. Let's have a quick summary. Lee trains DP while on the field. He has high AoE arts damage with the second skill and good CC and valuable taunt with the third skill. He is very niche and requires lots of setting up. I think Lee is a luxury operator. There are many interesting ways to utilize his second and third skill, but he is very niche and will almost always need support from his team. And then we have Mastima, an AoE caster who slows all enemies in her range and increases the SP recovery for all casters. Let's take a look at her skills. Mastima's first skill is a simple attack boost and honestly, you will never be using this skill because of how much better the other two skills are. Her second skill deals damage and stuns all enemies within her range for up to 7 seconds. It is an extremely powerful crowd control skill for situations where you need to hold enemies in place. However, it has fairly poor uptime, making timing it well very important. The long stun provides a good setup for your other operators to deal damage. And then we have her third skill that increases Mostima's range and talent slow, gives her attack boost, makes her attacks ripple and knock back light enemies. The third skill provides very potent crowd control with decent duration but high SP cost. It is the most potent against large groups of light enemies that can be knocked back. Let's have a quick summary. Mostima provides lots of very valuable crowd control, but has high SP costs and poor skill uptime. AoE casters are generally a bad archetype, with problems like short range, extremely high DP cost and slow attacks. I think Mostima is a good operator, she provides lots of valuable CC but is held back by her subpar archetype. And finally, we'll take a look at the 5 stars. April is a good value sniper and you could consider picking her up from the certificate store if you really need a sniper. I don't think then pulling the banner is worth it. As always, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment and subscribe for more Arknights content. See you in the next video.